Hey everybody, Eddie Heinzelman, One Louder Guitar Service. Thanks for dropping by the shop today. So I have on my workbench something that's going to set the internet ablaze because it always does. I'm going to top wrap my Les Paul. Hey everybody, welcome back. One Louder Guitar Service, Eddie here. And so I have in the shop today my own uh, 2010 Les Paul Special with uh, beautiful P90 pickups. And um, I love P90s. And I thought that I would do something a little fun. It seems like, you know, guitar players across the interwebs have opinions, uh, very strong opinions on various topics. And this one topic for some reason seems to just fire people up for no unearthly reason whatsoever. It's the debate on whether to string through wrap or top wrap your tailpiece on your Les Paul. What do I mean by that? So I'll show you here real quick. Typical stop tailpiece. Your strings go through the tailpiece. You have a fairly decent, uh, try to get out of there so you can see it, uh, string break angle right here. And then you adjust your action with your saddles and your intonation, and you're good. What top wrapping does is instead of the strings going through this direction, they go through and wrap over the top. The idea then is that your tailpiece can be screwed all the way down flush to your body, which should give you more resonance with the guitar and sustain. And then it changes the brake angle over the saddle, which affects the, the tension of the strings. Classic players, Dwayne Allman, Billy Gibbons, um, Jimmy Page, Lots of players, lots of players have, have top wrapped over the years and so I'm just going to do it. Actually in all these years I've never top wrapped of my own just to try it out, um, believe it or not. So I'm going to do that today. Now the one weird thing here in my shop, I don't really have a way to set up really good uh, direct recording. So plus we've got teachers in the other studios that I can't really crank up. I am going to play a little bit, hopefully, um, so we can we can sort of test this out. But uh, let's top wrap. So this is the way I have it set up right now. Um, Action-wise, I'm looking at about two and a half sixty-fourths uh, on the first string, twelfth fret, and um, three sixty-fourths on the uh, sixth string. <laughs> And it feels pretty good. So let's top wrap it and see what happens. So I screwed down the, uh, the posts all the way flush to the uh, to the body. Now notice the way that we've wrapped this. We've gone through instead of through this way. We've gone through this way, and now we're going to load it up. Actually, I'm gonna. Get Condition the neck a little bit. This is a rosewood fingerboard, and um, it needs a little clean. So, I'm just gonna give it a little uh, hydrate from Diodario. My little toothbrush, work it in a little bit. 
this time of year, especially as we go from summer into winter, it's going to uh, get drier as the temperatures drop and you turn on your heaters. So it's really important to condition your necks, make sure your guitars are properly humidified. We'll do some more stuff about that later on, but uh, just going to let this kind of work its way into the neck, absorb in what it can, clean up a little bit of the fingerboard here. Okay, so, uh, get that light out of there, sorry, so you can see. There it is, top wrapped. Um, one of the things you can do, another trick, if, now you notice, it's hard to see here, the, uh, this, this tailpiece is pretty wide, so it's not an issue here. Sometimes if you have a narrower tailpiece, the wraps of the strings, especially the sixth string and fifth string, might sit a little too far up, and they might dig into your fingers. So one trick that you can do is you can put another ball end on the string so that when you wrap it, the winds are further down so they don't hit your hand. This isn't an issue in this particular case. Um, I can tell you already the strings feel, I'm not going to say, well, softer, I guess. Notice now the brake angle, uh, what little there is. When you top wrap, let me get out of the way here, that string comes right across the saddle it's not parallel, but it's it's darn close. So the brake angle is really shallow. And essentially, it almost makes it feel like the action is lower. It makes the strings a little more flexible, I think. Yeah. So let's look real quick. Let's let's uh, double check the action here. So absolutely, the action is the exact same because we didn't touch, we didn't move the saddle. But that shallower string brake angle across the saddle. makes the strings feel uh, a little a little softer and almost a little lower. That's how I would describe it. I would describe it as feeling like it's a little lower action even though it's not affecting the action at all. It's affecting the tension of the strings. I mean, uh, now a, a bend or a step and a half bend is not, that's not so uh, hard to do. Hey, might be on to something. So, for anybody who, uh, you know, hasn't tried it yet, you know, just try it. Just, uh, just flip it over. Now, of course, I'm waiting to see it eventually at some point you know the strings may mark up my my tailpiece um, but again this is this is a more or less a, a, a road guitar so I'm not worried about it um, this is one I play quite a bit I play it in the studio um, again p90s and uh, played around town so yeah I like it um, the real test, of course, is playing it live, playing it on a gig, but uh, it feels really good. So, if you haven't tried 
the uh, the top wrap. Um, just just give it a shot. See what you think. If you don't like it, then go back. You know, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I mean, it's your guitar, not mine. So, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks for dropping by the shop. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.